So one of the first things you notice about this technique is that it's in the name, double thumb technique. And when you see guys play this technique, they're usually playing a double note. So two or four of everything. It just makes it that much easier. We talked about playing a scale just with one note going up and down using the downstroke and the upstroke. But I got a very interesting question the other day on Instagram. They asked me uh, when you're skipping strings when you're using the double thumb technique, when you're doing single notes, it's a weird movement. So I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up. So that string skipping right there. I don't know if you saw that. So here's the move. Down, up, down, then string skip, up. That movement is very awkward. So you have to figure out a way around that, or you just have to practice that. So what I recommended was practicing something as simple as a major scale, descending, down, up. Just practicing that over and over again very slow. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it's weird and it's awkward because you're going down, up, down. Now you have to skip that string and then come up with an upstroke to the next string. That movement, if you try it out right now, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Very, very weird, very hard. But I figured out a way to get around that. It's a little trick, cause, well, it's not really cheating, but it's something that I've adapted and didn't really realize that I was doing it. So, so here's the trick. I'm gonna play it slow so you can catch it. You may not catch it, you might have to play it over again, or I'll just play it over again for you. Here we go. Did you catch it? Let me do it again. Did you see it? So what I'm doing is I'm hammering on the note that I have to play with that upstroke when I, whenever I skip a string. So just for this instance with a major scale, so I'm going down, up, down, hammer, down, up, down, up, down, hammer, down, up. You get it? So I think I played the wrong note there, but you get the idea. So Whenever I have to skip a string and I'm going in that direction, I end up involuntarily hammering on the note that I need to play on that upstroke. It may sound confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. The movement is pretty weird, but once you get used to it, you'll see how much easier it is to do versus a double thumb skipping string in that opposite direction. It's very weird. So, slow down for you again. So we have down, up, down, hammer. And the trick to this is you're still coming up with your thumb. See right there, I didn't do an upstroke with that. My hand came up, but I didn't hit the string. Let me show you again. See? That note is still a hammer on. So once you get that motion down packed, you should be able to do it and execute it a little bit quicker. You start to alternate which notes you hammer and which notes you actually pluck and use a double thumb. It may be cheating, it may not be, uh, but that's a way that I can get around with it, especially for efficiency and, and trying to execute this at a certain speed. So check it out if you guys are new here or if you're not new here and you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell icon, hit that little bell. I hate missing notifications to channels that I'm subscribed to. So you wanna hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss anything that I upload. And on top of that, if you like what you see and you get down with me, hit that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. it. means the world to me that you guys are here spending your time learning and just jamming out with me. Peace.